Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, this morning, I would like to share with you about another topic, maybe a little bit um, away from the first two uh, presenters. Uh, I'm going to present about the issues uh, related with the palm oil, um, especially on the health issue, which is related with saturated fat and trans fat, and later on on the uh, 3 CBDs, which is uh, heat produce uh, contaminant, especially uh, present in the vegetable oil. And I would like to start with a uh, brief introduction. Um, why palm oil? It's because, frankly, that uh, Indonesia uh, major export recently is a palm oil. And now it's the, the top one uh, export commodity. And what we are exporting, um, not only in the form of uh, crude palm oil, which is at the beginning, it's about 50% uh, uh, crude palm oil being exported and refined palm oil of another 50%. But the years ahead, it seems that uh, the portion of export has become less, uh, approximately uh, 20 or 25% in the form of CPO, crude palm oil, and another 70, 75% is already in the refined oil. Um, uh, purified uh, palm oil. Let me start with uh, how the, the difference between the um, more vegetable oil in terms of uh, fatty acid compositions. Most of this, what they, uh, usually commonly called as a tropical oil, which is covered the palm oil and uh, Coconut oil is known as having a high saturated fatty acid or considered to be saturated uh, vegetable oil. Can goes up to 80%. And the rest, vegetable oil like the olives, the rapeseed, or the canola, corn oil, sunflower oil, and walnut oil, uh, most of them are unsaturates, which is this, this saturated fat is only less than 20% and majority are unsaturated fatty acids, especially the mono-unsaturated fatty acids. This is uh, the saturated fat coming from the vegetable source, the vegetable oil, I mean, and saturated fat can also come from the animal source, which is come from the dairy product, like a butter, and from the uh, meat, and up to the uh, fishery products, is getting less and less uh, saturated fatty acid there. Yeah. Why I uh, respond to the issue on saturated fat, it's because that since in the early 1980s, that, uh, recommendation has been advocated uh, by the national authority, especially in the US and followed by the UK, that advising the, their citizens about, uh, please uh, reduce the consumption of uh, saturated fat, because if you consume higher amount of saturated fat as associated with the incidence of coronary heart disease. But what happened? The um, recommendation has been made and followed in the last 25, 30 years up to now. And the incidence of uh, coronary heart disease, if the mortality due to coronary heart disease is still going up. So that means that uh, the recommendation to stay away from saturated fat is not effectively uh, ended up with the less uh, incident of coronary heart disease. So they try to evaluate uh, it could possibly uh, other reasons that cause the 
uh, high incidence of coronary heart disease. This means that saturated fat may not the right uh, cause for the incidence. So this is to give you just one um, example about the data that coming from the uh, meta-analysis, one of the publications, that what we have here is that um, the saturated fat is associated with increased uh, change or in LDL cholesterol, which is considered to be the bad cholesterol, is the LDL. And the unsaturated fat, especially the monounsaturated, the MUFA, and the polyunsaturated, the PUFA, is associated with reducing the LDL cholesterol the effect. But another kind of uh, fat is called trans fatty acid, which is trans monounsaturated, trans MUFA, is associated with increased uh, LDL even a bit uh, higher than the saturated one. The effect on the good LDL, uh, sorry, good cholesterol or the HDL, the saturated fat is not totally bad because saturated fat also has effect on increasing the HDL. And the, it also occur in the monounsaturated and the polyunsaturated. But for the trans fatty acid, uh, it doesn't have any effect on increasing the HDL. So the overall, if we sum up these two uh, pictures uh, on the left and on the right, the effect of the saturated fat is at best is uh, normal or neutral, I mean, no effect. Compared to the monounsaturated is true, monounsaturated is more uh, healthier. But for the trans fat on the most right bar, is considered to be uh, the hazardous as it causing uh, the incidence of heart disease even higher. So it's not quite correct when uh, at the beginning of the 1980s and later on just being realized that saturated fat associated with the coronary heart disease. In fact, the trans fat is the culprit. So, just in the last two years, probably, there is uh, more and more evidence coming from the uh, publication saying that saturated fat is not as bad for health as previously thought. And it's coming from our papers, something like this, that if uh, we have the saturated fat here being protective to the left and saturated fat being harmful, it seems that saturated fat has a neutral effect there. It's not so harmful and, and it's also not protective. But when we see on the trans fat, the trans fat on harmful effect on the right side, this is from meta-analysis, it looks that uh, many studies have confirmed that it's true, trans fat is more harmful, and only uh, one study is that trans fat is uh, protective. So this conclude that it is the trans fat is um, the problem. So next study is coming in uh, 2016 from Europe that uh, people eating more saturated fat get less heart disease. So this is somehow it's hard to believe for the rest of us, which has been a long time advocated to stay away from saturated fat. I put the point here that uh, the difference between saturated fat from tropical region and uh, from the subtropics. Tropical region, some saturated fat mostly coming from vegetable source, especially from the uh, vegetable oils. But for the subtropical region, saturated fat are mostly coming from the animal crops, mostly milk and uh, meat products. So although they have the same name, uh, saturated fat, in fact, they are not exactly identical. Yeah. So, uh, if we look at the composition of the diet or yeah, food that uh, consumed by most of the, in this case, from the European 
especially from the Netherlands, that in terms of uh, food groups, most, most of the saturated fat come from meat and cheese and milk product. Uh, it's contribute to more than uh, 50 percent. And in terms of fatty acid, uh, this is uh, palmitic acid and then uh, static acid and mineralic acid are the most common saturated fatty acid uh, being consumed. It's also present in uh, palm oil to some extent. So again, dead full fat from meat, milk are much better for you. So we just need to see also that uh, the saturated fat from the uh, vegetable oil is also as good as that one. Yeah. This is another uh, meta-analysis saying that uh, the saturated fat acid effect is not uh, as as this, it's more protective and for the monounsaturated, almost the same. Yeah. So, looking at that, some controversy that uh, saturated fat seem to be uh, unhealthy. Now it's being evaluated and being adopted by the uh, national authorities and several countries to revise their recommendation, especially uh, dietary recommendation for their uh, citizens. And palm oil is not all saturated, it's about 50%, 50% 50, uh, 50, 50 saturated and unsaturated. Yeah. So what happened with the trans fatty acid? Uh, Food and Drug Administration from the Department of uh, Health in the U.S. has put a statement and ban for since in the June 2015 that the partially hydrogenated oil is no longer considered to be safe because the partially hydrogenated oil contains a trans fat and partially hydrogenated oil has been widely used for food ingredients and also for frying uh, medium for in a deep fried food in subtropical countries. Therefore, in the next three years after 2015, there will be complete ban on the use of this uh, PHO. Transfer has been uh, put into the scrutiny in many nations to make sure that less and less transfer is being consumed. Trans fat is present in several types of uh, food, in the wafers, in the chocolate, in bakery, in butter and breaded products, especially when they are formulated or being fried using the partially hydrogenated oil. Yeah. Why they use the partial hydrogenation? Because when they use uh, for frying, if they use the native or the natural uh, vegetable oil like uh, soybean oil or corn oil for frying uh, it does, it's not suitable because at frying temperature which is about 160 and 180 degrees centigrade those oil are already smoked, already burned so that's why they need to saturate some extent of the unsaturated oil using the process called partially hydrogenation. As a result, during partial hydrogenation, trans fatty acid is being produced. And what trans fatty acids look like? It's similar to the saturated fat in terms of uh, chemical structure. Uh, this is the saturated fat on top, the A, all saturated, and the on B, is one is unsaturated. That makes the difference when at during room, uh, under room temperature, the saturated fat is tend to solidify easier than the uh, unsaturated fat, which is need a much lower temperature to solidify. But for the trans fat, it looks the same with the saturated fat. So this characteristic of trans fat acid, which mimics or 
identical properties with physical properties with the saturated fat. In this case, it's a palm oil or coconut oil. So, in many countries, especially in Europe, there has been survey to differentiate which uh, product contain trans fat. Most of the products in the supermarket contain trans fat more than two gram per hundred gram fat. And this caused the concern that each national authority is trying to uh, reduce this exposure later on. Yeah. So they try to limit by using uh, legislation, maybe mandatory labeling that each product or food product prepared, formulated using trans fat need to be labeled contain trans fat so that the consumer can be aware of. That way can reduce the uh, intake of trans fat by some uh, consumer group. In some uh, European countries, they already impose some uh, initiative to reduce the intake of trans fat to less than 1% uh, of the calorie index. And it's being successful. And now when the people are trying to move from partially hydrogenated oil is because being banned, especially in the next uh, 2018, complete ban in the US, not a lot. They need the alternative. The alternative is one of them is another naturally saturated fat, not industrially hydrogenized uh, oil. So in terms of performance, uh, palm oil contains uh, high saturated fat without hydrogenation, so it contains no trans fatty acid. In terms of availability, palm oil is quite much available right now. And economic, in terms of price, is very competitive, the price. And in terms of safety, because it contains no trans fatty acid, we consider it safe. Yeah. So, <coughs> palm oil is gaining uh, an excess, gaining excess uh, increasing in several countries, importing countries, and it seems that some countries are making some uh, resistance to inhibit or to, to slow down the import of uh, palm oil for that reason, because when they use the reason using the saturated fat is no longer relevant, and using the trans fatty acid, even better for palm oil because palm oil contains no uh, trans fat. So the next uh, challenge is on this uh, what we call what we call the three MCBDs. What is this three uh, MCBDs and GEs? Three MCBDs uh, stand for the uh, monochloropropane D or is. Uh, substance which is produced during the uh, refining of the vegetable oil. And the GE is a glycidyl ester which is also present during the refining process. So these two uh, heat induced uh, contaminants during refining has been raised a concern because is this occur or being found in infant formula in, in a baby food. So in this case, uh, they have a survey because um, infant formula usually formulated using vegetable oil. And among this vegetable oil, it must be contain some uh, palmitic acid. Why? It's because the uh, breast milk fat um, contain uh, palmitic acid. So the infant formula formulated similar to the breast milk. And the rich source of palmitic acid is palm oil. So although palm oil is being maybe uh, dismayed in many occasions, but for the producer of infant formula, they cannot live uh, without, uh, they cannot make any formula without palm oil because they need the palmitic acid source. Okay. And 
the composition of the infant formula is usually is 25% fat yeah, in terms of uh, composition. Therefore, uh, palm oil is usually part of the mixed vegetable oil being used in the infant formula. Yeah. Only the difference between the uh, fat from the infant, uh, fat from the breast milk and fat from the infant formula, the breast milk fat containing palmitic acid in the two positions, in the middle, the palmitic acid in the middle, but in the vegetable fat and vegetable oils, the palmitic acid is under the position one and three. And in terms of uh, containing MCPD and MCPs, okay, uh, we still have much, a uh, little bit data here I want to share maybe in the next uh, two minutes. Uh, I, Palm oil was found to have uh, the highest uh, MCPDs content compared to other uh, vegetable oils. This is also true with another data that palm oil contains uh, a little bit uh, the higher. It's about uh, 10 or about 10 ppm. Yeah. And I put along with this another data from the Poodle et al. that uh, MCPDs is can be found in the uh, palm oil with different variations, different location resulted in different uh, refined uh, palm oil and contains a different level of uh, MCPDs. So the palm oil, uh, MCPD content on the palm oil is higher compared to others and it seems that from different countries the palm oil also contains different level of MCPD. For this reason, we need to do something about uh, modifying and controlling the refining process in a such a way so that our uh, refined palm oil product can contain uh, only less than 2 ppm of the uh, MCPDs. I would like to put the, the last slide about the recommendation that the good palm oil should contain less than 2 ppm of uh, MCPDs and if for even formula even much less and even lower when we use the EU uh, recommendation uh, for the MCPD is the same and GE is 1 ppm but for it, palm oil when it's in, intended for open formula should contain uh, not more than 0 0.1 uh, ppm of MCPD so this poses quite a challenge for our uh, palm oil industry uh, we should respond uh, accordingly so that our uh, palm oil export can continue to grow. Thank you very much. <laughs>